All right, here we are at Turbo Bob's Bicycle Blog. We're right inside of Ivan Stewart's Electric Bike Center. Uh, up till now, we'll find out from uh, Tora if it's the, still the exclusive place you can get these. This is the Juiced Rider. I did a full write-up on it last year. And this is a fantastic bike. It's got some things that no other e-bike has. Now, I am here with Tora Harris. He is the designer and the head honcho behind this firm, and he's going to give us some updates on what he's done for this year's model to make it so much better. So let me get Tor to come in here and tell you a little bit about the bike and what he's done to, to make it uh, the, the model it is today. Okay, so this is the second generation of our ODK line. Uh, what we did, what we wanted to focus on this year was making it easier to use, making it more compact, making it more robust, and also just making it a really uh, solid car replacement tool. A lot of bikes out there are, are uh, more like leisure and fitness. Uh, there wasn't any bike out there that really would be, you know, that you can use it on a daily basis. So what we did was, we said, well, why don't we just make one that's just the best commuter out there. Well, great, Tor. Now, what did you do on this year's model to, uh, to make all the changes to make right. it that much better? Why don't you point out some of those features? Right. And so from the ground up, basically, you know, uh, we, we improved it. It's, behind, it's on that theme, which is making it more robust. Like we uh, incru improved the tires. You know, we have e-bike e spec tires and uh, special inner tubes, you know, that are very puncture resistant. The bike itself has been more, it's been made a little bit more compact, about 10 centimeters more compact. So from front to back, it's uh, six feet long. So that's the same as like a regular beach cruiser. But then you get this really light, nice, long rack. And this year, new for this year, what we did with the rack was we changed the, uh, we, we used these special rails on the rack, which allows you to mount a lot of different accessories. So now these, the spacing here is 10 by 10 and it'll fit like all kinds of accessories now. You have the yep, Maxi with the easy fit adapter, fits these holes uh, perfectly. You can put the seat right in, like that. So you can have one child seat on the back, like that. The new rails are uh, a little bit thinner than they were before, and so you can fit, you know, it'll fit all the accessories in the shop. Uh, so with these side rails like that, now you did some changes on the rear gearing on this mm -hmm. bike too, right? Right. So with the first bike, it was a rear, uh, a rear motor bike, and the rear motor is okay. But the problem is you can't use a really high quality internal shifting uh, system. So we're not, now we have a Shimano three-speed, which can be shift like. See now this bike is shifting without even moving into three speeds. So when you go to a stop and you're in, stuck in a high gear, you can still shift down to the low gear. That's very important when you're riding on a cargo bike. Now you changed the control system on this too, right? The control, now the battery is, uh, before the battery was 36 volts. And we had a lot of people say, oh, it's not fast enough. So we said, okay, we bump it up to 48 volts standard. And what we did was we made the battery part of the bike. Instead of having the battery, a really heavy battery that you have to pull out, actually the battery now is part of the bike. It's 48 volt and it's 15 amp hours. So by removing all of the hardware that uses, you know, with the lock and all the plastic parts, this bike now has 10% more capacity than the previous bike. Um, and the charge port now, instead of being on the side, which took up space, is now on the back. So when you charge the bike from the back. And if you drive away and, the, and with the plug still in, which happens a lot, it pops right off. I was just checking out that green uh, pizza guy bike from here locally. Mm -hmm. So you got uh, four different colors now or three? Three different colors, huh? Yeah, we have three different colors now. We have a red, we have green, and we have a flat gray color. Cool. Uh, so you have dual control now with the cruise control is what I, what I was reading. That's a new feature now is cruise control because a lot of people, they ride like long, really long distances and they need the cruise control. Our bike does not have pedal assist system, it's, it's throttle only. So, um, oh, okay. and so what we did was instead of having the pedal assist, which in order to do a pedal assist, you have to do it right, which is with the torque sensor. If you don't do it with the torque sensor, it's not really pedal assist, it's an on off switch controlled by you pedaling and that's no good. I fully agree, yeah. So, hey, great, yeah. yeah. So, so that's yeah. awesome. Yeah, so it's cruise control now and you hit the button and it works, it just works. 
Okay, well, Tor brought this bike down to Ivan Stewart's for me to spend a week or so with it, and you better believe I'm going to ride the heck out of it. I really love last year's model, and uh, I saw this at Interbike. In fact, I saw Tora riding around downtown, and he wouldn't even let me take pictures of it before Interbike. So now it's mine to play with. I sure say, thank Tora for setting us up and giving us a rundown, and uh, you can be sure that uh, I will tell you everything there is to know about the Juiced Rider. All right, hey, thanks for watching. Remember to Google me, Turbo Bob's Bicycle Blog, and thanks a lot, Tora. We sure appreciate it.